Hey guys, Cory here and I'm so excited to share it with you for today's uh, video. It's gonna be cleaning my fountain pens in 3 minutes using this magic baby here which we are gonna unbox together so I'm also not sure if it's gonna work. This is a China brand and I just I've been contemplating for a while now for almost a year whether to get an ultrasonic cleaner or um, you know skip it because i can clean my pens manually but since it was on sale and this was in the mid-range price believe me you can also get around 59 i mean two three dollars or let's say five including shipping with this kind of the smaller type but i i chose this mid mid type uh ultrasonic because i don't i want to use it for long term so enough rumbling i've already sliced this up and together we will open this new ultrasonic cleaner for my fountain pens okay i hope it's really going to work and will not disappoint me and my audience so let's remove this styrofoam um i haven't seen much of late uh, latest video on ultrasonic cleaners so i chose this design it's really really um modern one if you've seen a lot in youtube there are also you know those bulky ones so this is a Muggle Ultrasonic Cleaner. I think, I believe this is a 3 minute timer and then let's open it up. So you see guys, if it's in from China, it's a hit or miss whether you can use it today, tomorrow or not at all. So it comes with this, um, what do you call this? A plug, a direct plug and not the USB. Mostly Ultrasonics comes in USB that I've searched but it's way too risky for me. I mean, I have one adapter for my ultras uh, for my USB but at least this is really a plug this is the two type plug here in Indonesia and it also comes with the wiping cloth so I think it's to wipe this um, container uh, I, I saw in the video it's really a bit big but let's see now I think it can only this is meant for eyeglasses jewelries you know it didn't mention pens but i did my research and yes we can clean our fountain pens with it let's let me just remove this plastic Ooh, asmr for a bit so yeah you can see the ring light this is like you know that uh design of coffee machines now or toasters so it really is a trendy one to sit in my desk if I want to but yeah it's a black and white with silver trims it's not that high quality trim guys so don't expect for the price it's around twenty dollars I think in the conversion made in China 220 volts so household ultrasonic cleaner yes and all the fingerprints will show here it's like an iPhone <laughs> in that level okay so we have our pens here I'm gonna first try with the chippy chippy ones because I have the Kakuno here. I will try a different um, mechanisms like this is cartridge, this is a piston and or a vacuum. I'm not sure and this is a piston. Let's do the Pelican last people and the Sailor because you know um, the price in case. <laughs> so let me just put water in this and plug it up and set it up for you guys and we can see the magic. So, I'm back. I have my reliable water, you know, for my mini plants here and a towel. And also, uh, I know what is this for now, for the fingerprints. And I plug it. It's actually static here. I don't know why in the camera it's moving, but it's just still not on. So, <clears throat> to begin with, I want to dismantle all my pens to show you that there's all this grease, oil, you know, from the use and abuse so this is totally finished but you can see that there's still an ink there so that's for the Benu and let's move these two different types of we'll start with all the cartridge first so even inside you know the cap you can see the dirt the ink stain so let us test using ultrasonic cleaner this also is totally finished but there are some ink stains on it and a sailor as well manio so again totally finished and 
make a wickle so let's check oh this has a lot but a few but i'm not gonna be using this anymore so this two a cartridge let's see if it can go deep in the cartridge but oh the lambitao as well this is already in my rotation because i love this china pen succeeded <laughs> see also finished so they all have different inks as you know and the kakuno now i got it right kakuno um this is also cleaned up however the cartridge is clean but see not that clean the stains because this is a what do you call that permanent diatramentous ink so i'm gonna do my best maybe not everything and for these two i'm gonna rinse it first i i, I saw um the videos of some youtubers that in order for them to work properly we need to remove the inks i mean with running water so in the meantime while i do that to other pens i mean we can test it out with the china one first because i'm really really scared guys to <laughs> or the kakuno to use this with my expensive pens like this you know the pelican so i'm gonna try with lambita without rinsing it first okay so let's leave it like how it is and see and test its um you know effectiveness <laughs> so let me just pour though it says here max until here so let's do our best to it didn't say though that i need to clean this up first so it's pretty pretty almost full and let us put the which pen that we will do a guinea pig okay kakuno i can sacrifice it okay without rinsing it straight now you can even see the ink that's showing i hope it's showing okay kakuno and let's try the lanbito just to test it guys we have to remove it so it can clean the inside and let's just put the body okay for it kakuno is already already a bit um, stained inside so let's try these two pens first <laughs> i don't like to gamble so moment of truth if this machine works or no pray for me <laughs> and it says here this is the power button and this is the timer so let us just i know it's gonna vibrate so let's try I don't like to get electrocuted guys <laughs> but yeah let's see how's I don't think this clean even because it's still there the ink yeah so this is a um, failed one again another failed one because of that I did not let me just rinse it if the body has totally cleaned up Okay, so for round two, I'm gonna just leave this set aside first because this was this was these were not rinsed prior to putting just to test the machine if it's working or not. And for round two, I have rinsed my pens in a running water just to remove the ink, and let us see if it will work this time. So <clears throat> it's my first time for this ultrasonic cleaner, people. So let, bear with me. Anything I'm doing wrong here, please do comment sharing knowledge is caring so let us put everything there and so I've not cleaned thoroughly like I've just left something some inks there so it, this will serve its purpose as you can see some clean some inks are coming off 
and yeah let's just put these things here body or should i no let's do i know i know let's do the the feed first the cartridge so the ink i know it can be a lot of ink later on cartridge converters and so the pen and the body we can do later on because the cleaning i mean we just like for this benu there's inks there inside that um requires thorough cleaning so let us just sorry i'm making so much mess here it's a live cleaning saturday for me <laughs> for my pens and we'll do the this bodies later on so let's focus first on this and our guinea pigs pens which is not perfectly clean let's do this later on let's set this aside and let's focus on our main pens now so it's already on i'd like to keep it open to see all these feeds and nibs getting cleaned up okay in the camera so let's begin with 180 there's still so much ink coming off yeah so I think I've inked this with the Fika Sailor Fika so that's there I believe after cleaning them here I need to rinse them in a running water again this is the manio what happened to my manio nib okay it's transparent so the inks are coming off but you can see it's really clean on the inside guys I can see the fogging of some sort if I clean this manually it's not this shiny again my name so I think the purpose of this ultrasonic is not only to remove the ink but my uh, steel nibs are, are shinier again so I think that's one good thing but for removing inks in the cartridge in the converter um, just 80% but you see it's already clean again and there's no stain anymore so that's good I hope I got you. I have to guess now which converter is this from. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. Okay. So the ink is still there for this. Not good. And also for the Taweko converter. So I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly or not. Let me know. But for the cartridge, it's the only thing it did was shine them. <laughs> ink removal. The running water can do later on in our final rinse. So yeah. It didn't even go to oh my god. In that card converter so obviously cartridge nothing did nothing so i need still my syringe to clean it okay for our third batch if you're still with me guys thank you very much for your patience and sticking around <laughs> so for us to find out if my one of my grail pen <laughs> i have rinsed it and there's like a little bit of water inside let's see how can it be clean let's it's a proof here that there are some stains okay you can see that but i'm just gonna do the, the three minute one because Let's just include immediate leading body. These are both uh, piston fill, so might as well put them together. My narwhal as well. So there's oh, the colors are also <laughs> coordinating. So that's two piston filling um, this thing um, pens, and I will also add my is the rose gold twist B mini is already clean, but this stains. I'm curious if it can be removed. So let me just include this feed uh, part to it so I'm still hoping though not really trusting 100% that it can be removed but this is already there for a long time so yeah let's see how this ultrasonic can do the magic I'm not sure guys if I need to close it but it's just for this video we will just keep it open but do comment down below your tips and tricks on how to use if you have been using the ultrasonic uh, cleaner
moment of truth. Let's take the pelican out. And yes, it did clean the stain here. It's no longer there. Okay. So exterior-wise, it's all shine and cleaned. But obviously, I have to put the water in out first to flush the leftover inks. I think this ultrasonic is just for polishing and making it clean all over again like new. So yeah, this is for deep cleaning now. No more stains on the inside. As you can see. And sadly, my rose gold Twisby, it's still there. Although it's it flashed some inks, old inks, so but the material I'm guessing, as you can see, also guys, there's this black stain. I'm not sure if the camera is focusing. See, it's a stain already because it's not coming off. Okay, let me dry this one. Huh? But yeah, it's still there, sadly. Come on, Twisby, can you change this? <laughs> I think so. And for on our wall, it's a gold plated steel nib. And it's back as shiny as good as Narwhal. They changed their name now to Narwhal Wall. I'm not sure how to say it. But yeah, the pen looks good as new. Inside, again, it's a piston, so I have to like my Pelican. Now, let's see the cover. This has been used and abused, so no more oily, no more ink stain in the cup. So I think this is good to clean all your pens in the future, like if you want deep cleaning, no molds and stuff. We will do our bodies, okay? So let's see if I'm gonna use the same water in no harm. It's just a yellowish thing from few inks. But I want to see if the Benu is going to get cleaned. Okay? Because if I'm to clean this manually, I have to do the Q tips, you know, and or some soft brush to clean that. So let's see how this machine can make my life easier. So let's put it all. Ferris wheel, sailor. It's a bit dirty as well inside. And let's see, it's fairly new, so I don't expect that the gold trims will be shiny. I'm sure this olive also have some inks inside that we will never see if you don't look closely. And lastly, look at this brass patina. It's so good. I'm sure inks are there. So let's hope for the best that ultrasonic will be okay with the brass material. I really don't know if it's going to spoil the rest of the fence there. Pray with me, guys. I'm really curious with the bending. So, it's clean, guys. Although, yeah, it's cleaned. This is from the design, the purple one that you can see. But there is still a line, though. But the ink is no longer there. So I think they this needs to go one more round of rinsing in the running water, and it's kind of a bit, a bit warm, so. Yeah, there's some happening magic happening there. It turned warm. So all of these, I'm gonna go clean them in the running water and dry them, air dry them. So at least I can do them per batch when I want to. See, it's also cleaned my sailor. I can do. It will make my cleaning time faster because I don't need to, you know, clean them one by one. That's the good part. And obviously, I cannot see anything here, but. Hopefully it's clean and it didn't affect the patina at all. You can see inside it's still the, the original one and the outside is this. It become two tone because when you close. So brass is safe, it's okay as well as the pelican. When I'm brave enough to do celluloid, but so far my celluloid is still clean now. And it's only with one. This is this is always inked 
with my Joker Band, so it's a shimmer ink. It's well clean now. So I guess I have to rinse them all. So to summarize, it will only clean the feed, you know, shine and polish your nibs and the body as well. This one was stained, except for the twist bead. And like this, it's also clean. So it will thoroughly clean, guys, except for cartridge and ink like this converter. Maybe I need to put water inside and put it there. I am not just so sure how to do this yet. I will discover it along the way. But so far, it's 80 over 100 if I am to grade it because it's... Um, it's just a small machine and it's not the expensive one so it's in the mid range maybe if i got those uh, higher price one it can do this magic do this thing but to me i got this because it will make my life easy um i'm gonna try if you want to see let's just see first if this will really work <laughs> let's see it on my this is just a bonus guys this is my pandora which is already like coiled or what is the term black but this is supposed to be a 925 silver which will just become shiny again okay will not uh, turn into something rust okay a bonus clip if it can also do a jewelry and it won't fit my iPhone <laughs> I was planning to I remove this to clean and see that it's not fitting so yeah maybe my eyeglass which is oily and you know gross Let's see if it can clean it, guys. It, let's just use the same water. So, yeah. Ooh. It's most probably germ-free by now. <laughs> I'm not gonna use that towel. Here is my new eyeglasses. So the yellowish cannot be helped because this is an old eyeglass. But I can see that the dirt are coming off in the lens as well, in the frame. I'll just have to wipe this dry. And for the jewelry, the water is warm now. It's not that cleaned or not that shiny. I'm guessing because I used old water, but it's better than before. But still, there is still this black thing needs to be shined. I think I have to use soap or something. Yeah, I forgot if I can use soap or not. But with fountain pens, I rarely because I'm not sure what chemicals is on that. But I think there is a uh, drops for silver that I have to find out later on. So I guess that's it, guys. I don't want to keep you for so long now. And thank you for sticking with me and discovering my new toy. And hopefully, let me know if you got yours and what's your experience as well. And yeah, so we have fresh clean pens that I need to rinse one more time. Yes, um, I'm glad I've shared this with you and hopefully you can give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe my channel and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!